How to install the official Pixel Plus UI ROM on the POCO X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the official Pixel Plus UI ROM on the POCO X3 Pro. Now, do note, this is not Pixel Experience. This is a ROM which is based on Pixel Experience, which means that they have taken the code of Pixel Experience, added some changes, some new features on top of it, and that is how you get the Pixel Plus UI ROM. Now, as you can see, I do have the global version of the POCO X3 Pro, which is codenamed Vayu, but the process will work on the Indian variant codenamed Bhima as well. And I am running 12.5.1 based on Android 11. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. And then you also need to have a custom recovery installed. I am using TWRP for the purpose of this video and videos on how to unlock the bootloader, how to install TWRP recovery can be found in the description of the video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Another thing, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. Next, very important prerequisite is that you should be on the stock variant of MIUI for your device. Again, you need to be on the stock variant of MIUI for your POCO X3 Pro. And the next question which I will get is why do I need to be on the stock variant? Well, that is because the ROM is going to use the firmware from the stock variant. And again, video on how to go back to stock from a custom ROM on your POCO X3 Pro can be found in the description of this video as well. Next up, we can go into settings, password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Now, why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We're doing this because we are going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Next up, what are the files which we need? Now, all the files which you need are linked in the description of the video. And the only file which you need is the Pixel Plus UI official ROM. This is a zip file and Google Apps are baked in. So that is the only file which you need. Next up, we need to boot into our custom recovery, which is TWRP. So for starters, turn off your device. And once the device has turned off, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP recovery boot logo. So here it is. We do have the team win or TWRP recovery boot logo on our device. You can let go of the button combination we were holding and wait for the main menu to show up. There it is. Swipe to unlock. Now that we are on the home screen of TWRP, we will go into wipe, advanced wipe, select Dalvik, data and cache and then swipe to wipe. Once that is done, we will tap on the home button. And before I get the question that why do I not see the option for system and vendor? That is because we now have something called super partition and an explanation video for that can be found in the description of this video. Next up, go into install. Now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files. So this here is my internal storage. I downloaded the file on my phone directly. It is in the download folder just select the file and then swipe to confirm flash now once the file has flashed successfully make sure you do get the message that script succeeded result was one this confirms the fact that there were no errors next up tap on the home button go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard as i mentioned earlier in the video format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device. And no, you cannot install a custom ROM on the POCO X3 Pro for the first time without performing a format data. Anyways, next up, tap on the home button, go into reboot and select system. And there it is. We do have the Pixel Plus UI boot animation on our POCO X3 Pro, which means we are booting into the ROM and the first boot up will take some time. So you have to be patient. 
and there it is we are on the initial setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and now that we are on the home screen let us go into settings dark theme is enabled out of the box so let me go ahead and disable this so that it is easier on the eyes next up if you go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version you will notice here it is android version s11 security patches june 2021 which is the latest at the time of recording this video the kernel they are using is ethereus kernel se linux is set as enforcing the build name is unicorn and there it is peeps that is how you install pixel plus ui rom on the poco x3 pro now another question which i get a lot is how do you update this so let us say you have the rom installed on your device you have your accounts and everything set up how do you update it well for starters go ahead and download the latest rom transfer it to your phone or download it on your phone directly then i do recommend that you go into security and remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock and then reboot your device once we are just being safe so that we do not have any issues when we boot into twrp next thing you do need to boot into twrp so again turn off your device and once the device has turned off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twrp recovery logo and here it is we have booted into team win or twrp recovery next you will go into wipe advanced wipe just wipe dalvik and cache that's it perform a wipe of dalvik and cache so select those swipe to wipe once that is done go back go into install go to your download folder you would have your rom zip for the pixel plus ui over here select the file swipe to confirm flash and then reboot again if your device is decrypted if you have decrypted your device on the rom then you will of course have to flash disable force encryption as well if you haven't decrypted it then you can just flash the rom zip reboot your system and you should be good to go so that is how you can update your rom as well and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you